Uh, this story is brought to you in part by the letter R. The letter R. And it involves Rockstar and Take-Two Interactive suing Remedy Entertainment for their use of the R logo. Uh, the company filed a complaint in the EU saying the logo is too similar to Rockstar's R logo and may cause confusion in the marketplace. Additionally, and ironically, the two companies are actively working together to remaster Max Payne and Max Payne 2 and re-release it later this year. Uh, so while they're having a slap fight over a letter, they're set to release uh, a, a couple of all-time loved games. Uh, Alex, on a scale of 1 to 10, how silly is this? Uh, I'm going to go with uh, 9.5. Okay. Uh, first, our somehow the Russian judge still gave it an eight, though. Yeah, I'm telling you. It. Okay. Uh, our standard disclaimer: we are not trademark lawyers. We hire those fucking people. Okay. Yes. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I I don't understand how this confuses things in the marketplace. They don't look the same. You could Google the close. remedy logo. Like, I don't. I. Eh, like. I mean, I understand trademark dilution. I understand mm -hmm. needing to protect your trademark, and that's that's absolutely fine, right? Yes. And we have we have all of that stuff. You know, Lord knows we have paid a lot of money, and we have spent a lot of time with our trademark lawyers and our copyright lawyers and stuff like that, getting our stuff done. And and to say that with all that to say is that we have we've had to learn a lot about trademark. Um, and in my previous jobs and roles, I've I've learned a ton about trademark mm -hmm. and and copyright. Yeah, you did a lot of creative, like right? I did a lot of creative and I worked with a lot of logos and a lot of branding, a lot of IP, a lot of uh, industrial design, things like that. Um, and all that is trademarkable. Um, this is kind of, this is, this is kind of reaching in my mind. Um, and I think it's the, you know, I, I put down in chat a little bit of a, you know, a, a link to it and stuff like that. We'll try to put a link to the, to the thing in the show notes, but like it is, it is kind of a reach by any stretch of the imagination that you're arguing over the letter R. And, and I think it's one of those things where like a logo type, which is technically what this is. I'm going to push up my graphic designer brain a little bit. Uh, but what you're really looking at is a logo type because they, they're, they're arguing that the similarities in the letter in the, in the ligatures of the R and the way that it is pushed together and the little bullet that is the inside of the R is very similar uh, and thus could cause confusion in the marketplace. Um, I, I don't I, think you're going to have that problem, Rockstar. I think you're okay, buds. I'm looking I think at you're the, just fine. Well, again, they're, they're having the star logo. Like if Remedy had put like a star in there somehow, I yes. I got you right. But I'm looking at the logo side by side right now, and I'm like, there is no way that I'm going to confuse that one on the left, mm -hmm. even without the Remedy words below it. Right for the Rockstar logo, correct. I, I, I uh. and and I would find it very hard for the EU and the UK to argue that this is going to be in, infringing on a trademark just no. because of the letter R. No, right? Had they put, like you said, had they put a star or a triangle or some other shape at the, you know, descender of the R for the leg and everything like that. And they put a yellow background and things like that. Okay. I could probably buy that. This is getting a little bit too close to the rock stars kind of thing. Um, rock stars logo to me is one of those iconic logos now in gaming. And it's, it's really tough to not stand out when you're that logo. So, um, this brings me to the, because this is just the latest in the, the long string over the last few years of dumb fucking trademark lawsuits. I mean, completely. <laughs> We're going to sue you for the term Space Marine. You didn't invent the term Space Marine. We're going to sue you because of reasons. And I'm like, no, stop it. Okay. At, at a certain point, we we're getting done with this. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I know there was a big kerfuffle when uh, CD Projekt Red, uh, Trademark the term cyberpunk, right? And everybody lost their stinking mind, right? Yeah. And, and then we proceeded to say identico cyberpunk role playing game because whoop, well, and then they had come to, after me. They had to come out, and because we knew they were going to have to do this, they had to come yeah. out with this big fat uh, release about this is what we're doing it. This is the context in which we're doing it. We're only mm -hmm. going to use it for this. Da 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 da. -da. Because you cannot trademark a genre. A genre, yeah. Okay. 
So, again, Identico Cyberpunk role-playing game is trademarked. Yeah. Right? We couldn't, we couldn't call it, like, Cyberpunk 2099. No. That would infringe a little on, bit too on their on their copyright, not their trademark. Right. <laughs> Two different things. Right. Because uh, their logo is trademarked. The cyberpunk yeah. and again, know, the, the specific and, that, and the specific artistic rendering of that logo trademark all day long, right? Yep, and but that's that's how it's worked as a I, as a registered trademark. I, I really do think we are getting to the point of absolute fucking stupidity here. Let's can we calm the old down? Old man yells at cloud. I'm not even yelling. At, I'm I'm saying this as as a creative and as somebody again. I we own trademark. Yeah. I, I understand wanting to protect your intellectual property. I get it. But at a certain point, you have to trust that the consumers are not complete fucking morons. And especially where you're as big as Rockstar. Yeah. Right? Well, and I think it's... So here's here's the other thing that, that kind of comes along with some Mallow's of this too. face trademark. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I, I am trademarked. Cannot use Malaman. There you go. Um, the funny thing that comes about with this too is, and I don't know if, if Rockstar is just doing this because they can or because they fully actually do feel threatened or whatever like that, but hey, maybe don't unveil your new logo until you've actually passed the trademark office and gotten it trademarked. Like, because they can come back and they, you know, as part of the process, they have to go and review all of the examples and things that you send in and where you are going to use the trademark, what it means. They will go pull uh, competitors and things like that, much like Rockstar and, and everything like that. They will go and pull all of the examples and stuff to compare to make sure that your trademark is not too close to something in your industry. Yeah. That's the other thing. You have to be, especially in the United States, you have to be very, 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 very specific on what you are trademarking in what uh, category. And there are hundreds of categories. So, like, you can go make the Identico Diner if you want to, because I can't trademark the Identico Diner because I don't own it. Um, like, you could go do that because it's not in the same, it has to be in the same industry kind of thing. Um, and for the same things. And it's kind of the same way when it's in the UK and the EU, right? And so, it, it, it like, you know, I, I think their rebrand and stuff like that was maybe a step too soon uh, before they kind of got, got at least a, an inkling of understanding of whether this thing would go through or not uh, in, the, in the EU and the UK. Um, I'll be interested to see what happens if it comes to the United States as well. Um, you know, trademark, trademarks, suits and stuff like that take a long time and they're very expensive. Um, you just know, maybe take a little, take a couple of steps. Just know. drop it. <laughs> All right. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. Uh, has rockstar overstepped and are they just getting, getting silly? <laughs>